Well, I bought this uh, Moxon uh, vice kit when I was out in Iowa at the hand tool uh, show and um, it's been sitting around here since then. So I thought now that I'm finished uh, with the chest that it'd be time to go ahead and make the thing. Benchcrafted, which uh, sells the kit, has a, a nice plan on their uh, website and you can download it. It's a PDF and print it out. So um, I debated for a while whether I would just build it into the front of my, uh, my bench there. I could uh, do that, uh, but I think then it would be in the way. Uh, so um, I'm going to go ahead and do it uh, the traditional way there, their suggested way, which is uh, <clears throat> a five and a half inch piece of uh, maple and um, 36 inches long to be 24 inches uh, between centers which is what I want so um, we'll get started by milling up some uh, eight quarter uh, maple here Well, we got our uh, three pieces milled uh, here now out of uh, soft maple. So it's an inch and three quarters thick by five and a half inches in the back, uh, five and five aces on the uh, jaws on the front. So it's an eighth inch wider so that it catches on the front uh, and helps you line it up. And then this is the uh, clamp down piece that goes on the back that we have to glue that on and that'll be for uh, holding the vise in place so uh, I think I'll probably uh, drill the holes and then glue it up last. Drilling the uh, countersink holes first uh, for the nuts that go into the back and using an inch and a quarter bit here. quarter inch hole all the way through. I'm drilling the three quarter inch holes now all the way through. Chopping out the uh, <clears throat> mortise for the nut now in the uh, back. So I uh, dropped the shaft through like this and then traced around the nut to get the shape. And then I uh, started chopping out the, the waist.
Well, I've clamped the, the back onto the bench here, and i to get it reasonably flush. And uh, the nuts are tightened in the back here, so uh, here goes. And it fits on there bit tight but it'll get looser as uh, time goes on. One problem with these style of vices of course is that they rack and then they get uh, too tight but um, it's a little it's flush here and it's about a sixteenth yeah, about a sixteenth, not even a sixteenth, maybe a thirty-second high here. So that'll have to be planed off, It'll be flush, or else I gotta widen this hole down here to let it drop down a hair. But that's pretty much it. The uh, the back piece has to be glued to the the back so that we can clamp it. Although you don't have to one set up that they um, advertise is like this with the, the clamps holding it on. The bench is pretty solid. The uh, handles, of course, go on here. And you spin them around. And that's how you would clamp your your work in. Uh, you know, for uh, when you're cutting dovetails or sawing uh, dovetails on uh, a 20 inch wide panel, it'll fit between these. These are 24 on center, and uh, so it'll or actually 25 on center. There's 24, I think, clear between the two so uh, plenty of room there to clamp and then it's up up here higher uh, where you can work um, at the side or for sawing so uh, we'll glue it up and uh, well hand plane this this side off well I glued on the uh, reinforcing uh, or mounting brace here in the back yesterday so uh, just a couple of swipes with a hand plane to flush it up with the bottom so I thought I'd try it out with the uh, hold downs or hold fasts so it um, seems fine the uh, holes are pretty good in the front here the handles so I've got to put this uh, supposed to put this leather on the vice face here and I've got some contact cement and uh, we're going to mount that on there and then we'll be done with this project. Well, I got the contact cement on the leather and the uh, face of the vise. Uh, so, uh, letting it dry here for about 10 minutes and then uh, we'll push the two together. Then it has to be trimmed off. Well, the vise is finished now, so the uh, leather is on the face here and uh, I've got a board clamped in there you can see I I can go a lot wider yet but uh, it'll help for uh, sawing dovetails and working on pieces you can see uh, 
the mounting back here with uh, the hold fasts uh, that works quite well and uh, so we're ready to go it was a relatively short little project but the hardware is good from uh, bench crafted and uh, so we're all set here now I do is got to find a place to store it when it's not in use